Välkomna, Tervetulua. Welcome to our webinar on nature and biodiversity conservation. My name is Charlie Gullström. I'm a researcher at RISE Research Institute of Sweden in the area of smart sustainable cities. And it's also in my role as board member for AFSR, the French Swedish Association for Research. But I'll be your host today in today's Zoomiverse and moderator for this webinar. 2021 really will be a biodiversity year. Let me share some news with you. France just last week organized on the 11th of January, One Planet Summit, the Ops for Biodiversity, in cooperation with the United Nations and the World Bank, to raise the ambition of the international community on the protection of nature. An important sequence leading up to the COP15 where new protection goals will be adopted in May uh, this year in China. And also this year in September, the next IUCN World Conservation Congress will be held in Marseille on the topic, One Nature, One Future. Once every, every four years, this IUCN brings together leaders, decision makers from government, civil society, indigenous peoples in industry and academia to share knowledge and harness solutions that nature offers to global challenges. We all need to be there actually. Given the importance of such events, and in order to boost cooperation between France and the Nordic countries, all the four French institutes, meaning in Denmark, Finland, Norway and Sweden, have joined forces in partnership with the AFSR, have selected four young researchers who work in different domains and all linked with biodiversity, who will be attending this Congress in Marseille and be able to present their works. So we want this to be an opportunity to network with French institutions and also identify partners for bilateral and regional collaboration. We call them the, our laureates of the FINA Award, the French Institute Award. And the FINA Award was launched by all four French institutes in the Nordic region in 2020 to promote cultural and scientific cooperation between France and the Nordic countries and to reward outstanding achievements in this field. So today we are very proud to have the four researchers here with us and on behalf of the French, all the French institutes and the AFSR, I'm really happy to welcome everyone to the webinar and now we are going to proceed with presentations. Those of you who are attending um, via the different online uh, means, we ask you to place your questions uh, on the side um, in the Q&A section, uh, so not in the Zoom chat. These questions will be addressed to our four laureates at the end of the presentations. So we will have um, uh, four presentations following each other and then a Q&A session. So looking forward now to leaving the floor to Julie Strand, our laureate from Denmark. Uh, Julie's research at the Department of Chemistry and Bioscience in the Aalborg University uh, focuses on biodiversity and genetic diversity for species conservation by developing and improving technologies within biobanking, especially to establish and characterize viable cell lines from amphibians and reptiles. There you go, Julie. Thank you very much. I will share my screen and hopefully the connection is good. So hopefully you're all able to see my screen so far. Uh, I first of all would like to thank you very much for having me. I'm extremely honored that you chosen uh, my research uh, for this award. As Charlie said, my name is Julie. I'm a PhD student at 
uh, Olbo University. My project is a collaboration between Olbo University, Aarhus University and Ranas Reinsko, which is a tropical zoo in Denmark. I will give a short presentation on my work where I focus on biobanking uh, as a conservation tool. Um, and foremost, I would like to just give you a brief summary of the project. It's a holistic project which focuses on biobanking, as Charlie also mentioned. Here, uh, we've been trying to understand and improve um, the way we conserve animal genetic diversity um, by biobanking. Uh, we have been focusing on developing and establishing and improving the technologies we have today, um, but also innovating these technologies. I have focused mainly on working with um, or trying to establish viable cell lines from mainly amphibians and some reptiles. Here we have uh, done a lot of different uh, experiments in terms of testing different parameters uh, to determine the ideal growth conditions of uh, these specific cells. We've tested a lot of different media types, tissue types, uh, even differences among species and differences within a species. So to explain a little bit more about uh, what biobanking is, um, biobanking is a supplementary tool uh, to the conservation strategies that we know uh, today, such as both in situ and ex situ conservation. Uh, biobanking is, however, a method that allows us to conserve or rather safeguard 